Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hangsters Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos stay up at all times between both our locations, so we have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, letting you know that particular unit is no longer available for sale. We are standing in the showroom here of Hangsters Garage, located at 2385 South Ridgewood. Uh, we are in the process of remodeling our showroom. That should be done uh, here in the next two or three weeks. Uh, and we'll be back in there uh, with our new and improved showroom. We'll give you guys a little YouTube video tour of that. Uh, but this is our location here in uh, Daytona Beach uh, where we uh, install and sell custom automotive parts and accessories, vintage air systems, front disc brake conversions, uh, digital dash changeouts. HangstersGarage.com is our website. And again, this is our uh, front showroom and in the back area is where we do our custom installs. I have a beautiful car to present to you today. Uh, a, a really, really nice uh, vehicle, 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback. It is a C-code car, so let's take a look under the hood. Uh, there is a 302 uh, underneath the hood. Uh, no, uh, no steering, no brakes, so it is manual steering, manual brakes. You can see that the uh, engine has uh, very meticulous detail uh, from the Ford uh, engine block blue valve cover, uh, Ford Racing valve covers uh, to the nice... Uh, Beautiful, uh, pristine, new-looking washer bottle, um, blue alternator. I mean, really cool stuff. Uh, attention to detail, nicely dressed, um, high-flow radiator, uh, everything that uh, you'd want in your uh, Ford Mustang Fastback. So let's take a look at the car itself. Red, right? Um, muscle cars, uh, you know, red, black, blue, they, they sell well, and red's probably the most... Uh, popular color when it comes to a, a Ford Mustang. Um, white racing stripes down the center of the hood, they are decals. Um, the paint on the top of the hood, tops of the fenders is in really good shape. I'll show you a couple uh, small imperfections. Uh, the first one being there is a slight scuff there on the uh, sticker uh, to the uh, hood sticker. Uh, the Ford logo there across the front of the hood. Uh, grill looks good. Your uh, Mustang there in the center of the grill looks to be in good condition. Um, your fog lights in good shape. The clarity of the glass is good. Uh, front bumper looks nice as well. You don't see any rusting or pitting in the chrome or around the uh, bumper bolts. Uh, there's a slight imperfection there on the uh, driver's side where the hood, you know, rubbed a little bit and took a little uh, chunk out of there. How about the driver's side front fender? Uh, you do have your uh, Mustang logo there, uh, 289. There's a 302 in the car right now, but there's a 289 badge there. Uh, Mustang logo on the uh, driver's side front fender. Uh, paint on the front fender is real nice. Uh, no blistering, bubbling, cracking, fading, anything like that. Uh, your Mustang wheel looks to be in nice shape. I don't see any uh, chrome peel or pitting. Uh, Cooper raised white letter radial tires. Uh, those are brand new, all four corners. We put those on so you have brand new tires on the vehicle. Uh, clarity of the front windshield glass looks to be uh, in pretty good shape. I don't see anything uh, cracked or chipped. Uh, we'll take a, a better look at the clarity when we're actually on the test drive in the vehicle. Uh, let's take a look at two things. Uh, number one, well, first we're going to look at the uh, door fitment on the car, which is uh, pretty good. You see that you know you have a body line there that protrudes out of the front fender, the driver door, and then of course the uh, starts into the rear quarter there. Um, everything lines up nicely. Uh, your door fitment is good. Uh, your gaps are good from the top to the bottom. Take a look at the paint down low. Um, nothing's blistered or cracked down low here on the, on the driver door. Uh, you do have that aluminum uh, molding there on your rocker panel. Uh, it looks to be in good shape as well. You know, it's low to the road, so that's where, you know, you get a lot of road debris. That one looks to be in, in pretty nice shape. Um, there is a little brush touch there on the driver door. Uh, your drip rail moldings look good around the driver window. Uh, quarter glass. Uh, driver uh, door glass looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's take a look inside the car. Uh, first we'll start with the door panels. 
Uh, so you have a uh, vinyl uh, door panel here. Everything looks to be in pretty uh, good condition. Armrest isn't cracked or torn. You can see there is a courtesy light in the door that does illuminate when you open up the driver door. Um, so uh, headliner looks to be in pretty good condition. You have that uh, center stripe uh, down the headliner uh, with some matte lights in there and, and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if you can see or not, the, the, the passenger side door also illuminates. You can see it over there sticking out a little bit beyond the uh, passenger seat. Um, take a look in the back seat of the vehicle. Uh, the rear seats look to be in good shape. Uh, rear seat belts and front seat belts. Uh, the carpeting in the car is in good condition. The floor mats are brand new. We put those in as well. So we uh, put the new tires on it, put the new floor mats in. The uh, way you saw the engine dress was exactly the way we bought it. So uh, somebody did a nice job doing that. Front mats, rear mats, brand new. Um, take a look at the uh, carpeting underneath your front mat. You can see the courtesy light in the floor. Hopefully that lights it up pretty well for you guys. You can see in there, it's in good condition. Uh, wood steering wheel. Uh, all the chrome around your uh, gauges looks to be in a really, really nice shape. Uh, you can take a look at that in the still photos as well as when we're on the test drive. Somebody did put a uh, center console in with some cup holders and a little uh, storage compartment there. So that is in there as well, built around your automatic floor shifter. Shooting down the uh, driver's side of the car, your uh, rear quarter's nice and straight, driver door's nice and straight, front fender's nice and straight. Uh, you can see here low on the uh, driver's side rear quarter, nothing's blistering, cracking, bubbling behind the rear wheels where you normally have a problem. Uh, your chrome moldings that go around your wheel opening moldings uh, on all four wheels uh, look to be in good, good condition as well. Really large rear window glass on this vehicle. Um, it looks to be in pretty good condition. You do have your typical faint scratches, you know, in the uh, rear window glass that you have on, on classic cars, older cars, collector cars. But uh, glass clarity overall is pretty, pretty nice out of the uh, rear uh, window there. Um, deck lid fitment uh, fits well to the driver and passenger side rear quarter. Uh, again, your uh, white stripes, they're, they're decals, they're not paint. You do have a little uh, bit of appeal right here, uh, very faintly on the deck lid. Uh, Mustang there on the uh, rear valance, uh, on the uh, deck lid itself, I guess, uh, right above the uh, fuel door. Uh, your chrome on your uh, tail lights looks to be in good condition. Uh, rear bumper. Looks both the front and rear bumper look to be either brand new or, or definitely in newer condition because the chrome on them is fantastic. Uh, you have your reverse lights there down low, and then of course your uh, dual exhaust uh, with your chrome tips. Take a look in the trunk. My fuel door is open there, so let's shut that. Okay, so uh, just a simplistic. Uh, Trunk mat, actually it's just like a piece of carpet um, cut for the, uh, for the Mustang trunk. So it's just black, no jack, no spare. Uh, the fuel tank, of course, on the Mustangs. I'm trying not to pull any wires out there. Uh, your fuel tank there looks to be pretty new. Uh, condition of the trunk is in nice shape. You can see there's no uh, rust holes, rot holes in the trunk. <coughs> Close that up. Uh, looking down the passenger side of the car, really nice body lines on the car, both sides, driver and passenger side. We'll get a shot down low there of the rear quarter, uh, down low, behind the wheel, nothing going on down there. Uh, up here, no blistering, fading, uh, cracking of the paint, of the clear coat, anything like that. <clears throat> It's a driver quality paint job, you know, it's not perfect. I'm gonna show you, I've showed you thus far a, a couple flaws and I'm gonna to continue to show you a few more, but overall, you know, it doesn't need to go to the body shop for any kind of uh, subpar uh, body work, bondo, cracking, paint, fish eyes, anything like that. <clears throat> Passenger side door, same condition as the driver's side. Uh, your vinyl's in good shape, armrest is in good shape. Both seats, driver and passenger, 
uh, no rips, no tears, no discoloration. You have good cushion. Again, the front uh, and rear floor mats, both driver and passenger, all four brand new. You can see those courtesy lights illuminating again when you open up the uh, passenger side door, down in the floor, uh, in the doors. Super cool car. Driver door, uh, passenger side door, same as the driver door. There's no paint issues down low. Hopefully you can see there, not only in our video presentation, but also in our camera shots. We take up close uh, high definition photos of the car. Mustang badging on the passenger side front fender. Again, the 289. Uh, the <coughs> emblems, you know, have, uh, you know, are pretty good chrome. Uh, good chrome in the Mustang. Good, uh, check out the paint down low there on the uh, passenger side front fender. Again, no blistering, cracking, anything like that. The only other area, um, as far as paint's concerned, is a little chip here out of the uh, passenger side fender there on the top where the hood probably hit at one time. And there's also, you know, a couple miscellaneous small little tiny chips uh, on either side of the hood, both uh, driver side and passenger side. You know, when you're dealing with an old car, classic car, uh, the hood is metal and it's really heavy. And you, you have hood shifting sometimes, whether it's on a Camaro, a Chevelle, a Roadrunner, a Mustang, uh, and you get that from time to time. <clears throat> Super cool car. It's the right color. It's a fastback. It's a 67. You have a nice detailed motor. You have a great interior. Very nice paint on the car. Nice body lines. The car has a lot going for it. I'm sure it'll generate a lot of activity on our phones and via our website, text message, email, however you choose to contact us. I encourage you guys to visit Daytona Beach to look at whatever vehicle you might be interested in purchasing. We sell a lot of vehicles sight unseen. In fact, that's how the majority of our business is done. I'm a sight unseen buyer. I don't go to stores, I don't go to dealerships. I do everything, I get it shipped, driven, delivered, whatever. So I, I, I get it, I, I love the convenience uh, you know, that we have nowadays where we can you know, work our businesses, work our jobs, and not have to go places because everything gets delivered. But uh, we deal in 40, 50, 60 year old classic cars. I went around this thing real quick, probably took me eight to 10 minutes, somewhere in that uh, vicinity. And I showed you guys some uh, positive aspects of the vehicle and some that you feel might be negative if you were to visit us in person. But you know, I'm not gonna point out all of them. I'm not gonna see all of them, catch all of them. We're trying to cram you know, an hour to an hour and a half, maybe even two hours presentation of a car into a 20 minute video. I can't do a two hour video. I don't have the time and I'm sure you guys don't wanna listen to me for two hours. But um, you know, all, all jokes aside, uh, we do encourage everybody to come in person to view whatever car they might be interested in. We all work hard for our money. Uh, nobody knows uh, better than you how to choose what to spend it on and the quality of car you should spend it on. So if you visit us, we'll let you drive it, we'll let you rack it, we'll let you uh, check out the paint and the sunshine, whether you want to do it in our showroom, whether you want to do it outside. We'll let you pop the hood, pop the trunk, look at the bottoms of the doors, roll the windows up and down, uh, whatever you would like to do. Um, to feel comfortable about moving forward with your purchase. Again, I mentioned we do the majority of our business sight unseen, even though I shoot five, six, seven of these videos every single week and give pretty much the same sales pitch. People continue to wire us thousands and thousands of dollars without coming to, uh, to look at the vehicles, and that's fine. And we make a lot of people happy, but uh, you know, if this is your first time buying a classic car, or maybe you bought another one from a, a, another dealership and you didn't have such a great experience, Visit Hangsters. we'll uh, show you our car, we'll uh, let you drive it again, uh, we'll, we'll present our business operation to you, uh, give you some tidbits of what to expect when owning a classic vehicle and maintaining a classic vehicle, and let you view what you are looking to purchase in person. Now comes the fun part. It is a beautiful day here in Daytona. I couldn't say that, you know, about two weeks ago when we had a hurricane ripping through here, but uh, we have a beautiful sunshiny day. We're gonna take this 1967 Ford Mustang on a test drive and we're gonna show you guys how it runs out. Underneath our 67 Mustang Fastback, you have disc brakes up front. So I do not have any uh, paperwork on the car. 
uh, when the motor was rebuilt, when the car was painted, when the tranny was rebuilt, anything like that. However, uh, check out some things on the motor here. Okay, see how uh, nice and new those uh, oil pan bolts look? And see that gasket there on the uh, oil pan, the oil pan gasket, how nice and blue that is? And then see in the side of the motor, the freeze plugs, the freeze plugs look new and the block itself looks, you know, like it has been done, either rebuilt or dropped in recently. So those are all good indications that there's not much time on this motor. I uh, got the extra deep uh, high performance oil pan, uh, dual headers, driver and passenger. Uh, trans pan, you can see all nice and dry around there. Cross member supporting up the transmissions in good shape. Both our frame rails on the driver's side and the passenger side are in good condition. Let's have a look at the floor pans. So uh, when you're looking at floor pans, you want to look at you know any areas that were patched or uh, sectioned in. Here's the driver's side where it starts and where it ends. We'll give you a nice pan of that. Looks to be all pretty solid. Same thing here on the uh, passenger side. Uh, it looks nice and solid, one piece all the way back. Uh, looks like there might have been a uh, patch right here in the floor. There's a piece of metal there uh, that looks like it, it's a patch. Uh, but uh, both floor pans, driver and passenger, look to be in pretty good condition. No rust holes, no rod holes. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers. Leaf springs in the rear look to be in good shape. Let's also take a look at those rear frame rails. You can see where our lift sits here. It goes up over the uh, rear end and then continues out uh, holding onto the bumper back there. Same thing on the uh, passenger side. Everything looks to be nice and solid. You can see the frame rail up there. Also, the uh, section there where the uh, trunk meets the back of the uh, seats there in the rear. Looks like a newer gas tank. Uh, quarters look good. Driver's side and passenger side both look to be in fairly decent shape. Yeah, good metal on both sides. Uh, chrome exhaust tips. Driver and passenger. We showed you those in the uh, video presentation earlier. Good looking vehicle. 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback. We're going to drop it down on the ground. We're going to take it on a little test drive. But before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. First of all, if you are a cash buyer, uh, we will take cash if you're coming to visit us here in person in Daytona. Also, we accept cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. Bank wire transfer is generally the most common form of payment. Puts the funds there the same day. That way we can start preparing the vehicle for shipment for you that much sooner. The vehicles are prepared for shipment in the order that they are funded. So depending on what we sell that week, there might be two in front of yours, there might be six in front of yours. It just all depends. Financing. Typically the collector car lenders we work with can have us paid within 48 hours. That's if you're quick on your paperwork because they need all your signatures and documents and insurance and all that stuff before they can fund us. Again, uh, the uh, collector car lenders, they do not have a prepayment penalty. So if you wanna pay the loan off early, the collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10 year loan. So if you get approved for an eight year loan on this Ford Mustang and you want to uh, pay it off in two, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. If you do get an approval, they're gonna require a minimum of 10% down and then the remaining balance over that five to 10 year period, whatever it is you get approved for. Once the vehicle is funded, whether it's through uh, you know, means of cash or whether it's uh, through a lending institution, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. We go through the tire pressure, torque the lug nuts, make sure you didn't lose brake lights, reverse lights, make sure the wipers are still working, all that stuff. They're old cars, anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any time. So we give it one last once over and give it the green light prior to it leaving here to make sure everything's on the up and up. Once it's through inspection, the guys green light it and say it's good to go, we call a carrier for pickup. 
Generally, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. Sometimes it's a little longer, three, four, five business days. But I promise you, we do work quickly. Once we're funded, the car goes through inspection, the car goes through detail, uh, carrier gets to dispatch, and then it's on its way to you. Of course, if you're picking it up and you're driving it home or you're trailering it home yourself, we'll let you know when the car's ready and you can come pick it up. Let's set the 67 Ford Mustang down on the ground. It's a beautiful day here in Daytona. We'll take it on a test drive and show you guys how the car runs out. Okay, inside our 67 Ford Mustang. Horn. <laughs> Driver's side turn. And in the hood. Passenger side turn. And in the hood. Not sure if you guys can see that with the sun glare or not. Temp, we just started the car. We'll see if that comes up when we're driving. 688 miles on the car. Uh, remember, I showed you that motor underneath here. That would be my guess that that's how many miles the motor has on it, but I have no way to prove that to you. So we're gonna go with exempt. Fuel gauge does work on our upgraded gauge package. We're just at maybe a hair under a quarter. Oil pressure, reading about 60, 65 pounds, something like that. Uh, wipers, two speeds, um, showed you the turn signals, oh, attack, uh, retro radio, so that works, uh, what a, oh, even the, these map lights up here work, I don't know how often you'll be using those in the car, but they work. Uh, you got like your brushed uh, stainless look up here, uh, surrounded by your black leather. Sun visors are in great condition. Headliner's in good shape, no rips or tears up there. Clarity on the uh, rear view mirror is nice. I don't see any rips, tears, cracks in the dash pad. Our temp is coming up here ever so slightly. We're about eh, 130 now. So we'll see how we do with that throughout the test drive. As you can see, we're idling nicely. The car's not uh, stalling out, not sputtering. Good stuff. Let's take it on drive. Our 67 Mustang drives as nice as it looks. Track's nice and straight. Steering's nice and tight. Uh, there's no vibrations in the tires and the uh, engine transmission. Speedometer works, it's accurate. About 43 miles per hour, 44, something like that. Our temp right now is 170. I'm sure you guys can't see it with the sun glare, but we're just under 170. Uh, there are two faint little scratches in the windshield there, uh, right in your vision. It's They're on the inside. I can feel them with my fingernail. Uh, they aren't bad, but if you focus on them, they're there. The car runs fantastic. We got a minivan in front of us doing about 10 miles an hour, so we'll try to open it up uh, when we get uh, through the corner here. Speaking of the corner, we'll have to brake, if not stop, uh, through the corner, so we'll see how the brakes perform. But the car's running nice and cool. The motor's uh, not spitting and sputtering. Exhaust isn't popping. Uh, it's not wanting to stall out. Brakes are working just like they should. Slowing the car down, no pulsation, vibration out of the brakes. The exhaust has a nice throaty sound to it. It's not excessive, but it gives the car a nice rumble out of the Flowmasters. We'll give it some gas here. catching up to traffic so uh, I'm gonna shut it off there that was about 60 miles an hour uh, it's Biketoberfest here in Daytona so we have a lot of traffic uh, so I can't really get it up that high but the car has great pickup it has uh, great steering steering is nice and tight nice smooth ride no vibrations in the engine no vibrations in the transmission in the tires the car tracks nice and straight when you let go of the wheel. It's not all over the road. It's got a great look, the red with the white stripes, 302, 
raised white uh, letter Cooper Cobras. Fantastic car. 1967 Ford Mustang. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, our 1967 Ford Mustang includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers engine, transmission, and rear end. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. It does not cover oil leaks. It does not cover batteries, starters, alternators. It's only gonna be covered, uh, you're only gonna be covered on major mechanical breakdowns of the powertrain, engine, tranny, rear. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. Warranty's good at full retail price only. The shipping also comes off. We can put you in some in touch with somebody that can help you facilitate the shipping, but it'll be your job to arrange the shipping with them and to pay the driver on delivery, cash or check. They do not accept credit cards. Of course, if you're local to us here in Daytona, you want to come drive the 67 Mustang home, you do that as well. And if you're a collector, maybe you have your own open or enclosed trail, you want to come trailer this thing home, you know, make a little three or four day getaway, two day getaway here in Daytona Beach, you can also do that. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. And one last time, our website is hanksters.com. On our way back to the showroom, I will give it one more shot. So we'll cut the clip here and then we'll uh, take it up through a couple gears going back to the showroom, see if I can't get it up to 65, 70 miles per hour. That's 75, we're coming down a little bit. Again, we have traffic. Also, 170 exactly on our uh, temperature. So we're running nice and cool. It's a uh, about a 90 degree day here today in Daytona. So uh, car's running cool and performing great. Hangsters Hot Rods, hangsters.com. <laughs>